All right, guys. Basically, this I want to just put this question out there: How did Chelsea win thirty games a season with David Luiz and Gary Cahill in defence? Because those guys got exposed in that FA Cup final. So basically, I just want to know what did Conte do? What drug did he give them to somehow get this team to win thirty games a season? Because I still do not understand how. Because I don't care what anyone says, Cahill is still a crap to defender. Cahill's crap. Yeah. yeah. Luiz is not a great defender. So what? How did they win? That's what I want to know. PDAs. No, no, what I say is this, it was mainly formation. That formation, that 3-4-3, three, three, covered mm. up so many cracks because Gary Cahill is dead. Mm. I don't care, anyone says it, we can all agree in it. Yes. Gary Cahill was crap. Mm. David oh, Luiz is... Far as to say crap. No, 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 no. He's, he's been exposed too many times. But, but the, no, no, but the formation... I wouldn't say he's crap. crap. The formation... Yeah, no, might, mm. I think he's very average. The formation covers up his cracks. David Luiz, I think he's decent. He's improved. Aspilicueta is probably the only good defender. Yeah, yeah, I say key, good. Yeah. Very, very good. Oh, no, he's, 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 he's top five. He's top five in the league. Do you know what I'm saying? So it was the formation that kind of covered up their cracks because... And funny enough, when Arsenal played the same formation as them, they got exposed because no one really played that same formation other than Tottenham earlier in the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's the thing. I think it's the organization of, mm. of Conte, not so much just the team, but the organization of the team. Mm. Uh, the three-four-three did help because no one was expecting that, and no yeah. one knew how to deal with that. Later on in the season, more and more teams started to do a lot better against Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so <laughs> what they do next season now, if they continue with that. Oh, well, obviously he'll probably have new new toys. No, no, to play he'll, play new he'll have new toys really. to play. Yeah, play yeah he with, does. But, does. Uh, uh, individually, Chelsea's team is not the best. No. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what gets because when I look at that team, and I think I look at just how exposed they were against Tottenham and Arsenal because people say okay, um, United and Tottenham were the team that completely exposed them. No, they were completely and totally outplayed by Arsenal. Yeah. Arsenal beating them by six. Yeah. And what Arsenal did was that. Go at these guys. Yeah. Play quick. Play play direct. And if you play direct and really quick, yeah. those guys find it very difficult to deal with. Because think, think about the three four three. Yeah, it is a good formation, but eh, playing through at the back, you need to have high defensive IQ. And once those guys get past Kante, because the issue is that Kante was really the reason why they did it so well, because there's so much defensive work. So if yeah. Kante isn't playing well, Luis and Kiel now have to, have to properly defend. And because they don't yeah. understand spacing, they get totally exposed. Which is why Arsenal completely ripped them apart. This is why, this is why I think Aspilicueta is the key. Because mm. he is by far the most intelligent defender yeah, yeah. at Chelsea. Yeah, definitely. So he's the key to that formation. Because he, he kind of sees things. He covers well. Mm. Yeah, he covers the ground pretty quick considering he's not the fastest. Yeah. But I think he sees things that Luis and Cahill won't see. And he can sweep up. Um... Kante is another major part because he does the same job yeah, just in yeah, front yeah, of the back three. If they're not playing, if they're not really up to it, then that formation kind and, of thing. And the thing is, Kante wasn't up for it. You could see in yeah. that game, yeah, Kante, for whatever reason, like, people just going past him, like, drifting past him, and you're like, but the, the, that's a bad game, game, man. Yeah. I'm, not, is, I'm, not, I'm not taking anything away from Arsenal. Everyone knows I wanted Arsenal to win, and I was backing them, and I'm, yeah. I'm happy that they did win, yeah. Yeah? yeah? So I'm not taking anything away from them, but we have to be honest. Chelsea were on the beach. Like yeah. they, 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 I, I don't necessarily think it was that Cahill and Ter and, and Louise sorry got found out. I just think Chelsea forgot they needed to show up. <laughs> like I think they were so happy they won the league and they were still in celebration think, mode but do you think that they actually just forgot they have I, to show I, up I, to win the game. Before it started. Yeah, before like then Arsenal, they, they, they just really thought, oh, we're so run. good. Like, but to be honest with you, they needed to realise that a wounded animal is a dangerous yeah. animal, like I said. Mm -hmm. And I knew Arsenal would be the hungrier team. Yep. Mm -hmm. They would. So I don't necessarily, not, like I said, not taking nothing away from Arsenal. They mm -hmm. were so good on the day. Yeah. Yeah. But Chelsea seemed like a team who didn't care. Like they did. They, they, they didn't come. They didn't show up. They did Like nothing. Like not one of their big players. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. one of them. No, you're right. You're Do you know right. what I mean? Like not is, one of them. What's quite surprising is that with, with Conte, Conte don't strike me as a manager that lets his players like relax. Right, He's very right. intense. Yeah. One of yeah. the most intense managers in the league. So. But even he needed the, the relief of like we've won the league because it was yeah. a very... It, he was under a lot of pressure. No, 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 he was. He's, he's, season, he's playing yeah. for the yeah. chairman who is the harshest chairman in the league. Yeah, 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 Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Conte yeah. was the easiest one to get sacked yeah. out of all the managers. And so I remember there was talk at the beginning of the season that, it, that he was going to leave because yeah. there was a lot of uh, rumblings talk. behind the scenes that he wasn't happy and Costa uh, was yeah, yeah, he, Costa wasn't, yeah he fell out with Costa <laughs> and uh, he wasn't given the players he would promised. Uh, they didn't get the transfer targets that he wanted. 
there was all this talk literally in September that he was going to leave there and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so right. for him to turn it around. Mm. So yeah, I, I, I think even he was like, woo, yeah. I've done it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And I, even woo. he took a little bit of a breather. Mm. And I just think Arsenal was just like, fuck this. Mm. We need something. Otherwise, Arsenal, if Arsenal didn't win that, that's a diabolical season by their standards. No, but, and but they was, knew that. But and that's what. Just a hungry adult. But the thing is, what I say is, okay, look, because this may be like a nice segue into the whole Arsene Wenger thing. Because I knew this would happen. Because I lost ten pounds. Because I was stupid <laughs> enough. <laughs> because you know, seriously, Wenger owes, owes me ten pounds. When, <laughs> when I see that dude, you buy, you buy pill because because I was I was you thinking about ten pound and one pence. <laughs> yeah, 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 interest, yeah, yeah, interest. But my thing is that because I remember this was it was also a a, a a colleague of mine. Back in February, this was before West Brom, before Crystal Palace said no one's asking they'll finish top four. Yeah. Because again, that was, I was I was sure because this was before that West Brom lost and Crystal Palace lost. So had once they lost to West Brom and Crystal Palace, you know what? I said, you know what? I was still saying they're gonna cut to top four, but I knew they were not gonna top four. But I knew this was gonna happen. They won't get top four, they'll win the FA Cup. Then Benga would say, Look, we didn't get top four, but only one point, but I've won the FA Cup. The most successful FA Cup team, the most successful manager to win the FA Cup. Mm. Now is that a good enough argument to give this guy two year contract extension? I think it's different. If it was another, say for example, it was Klopp or someone like that, I think it's different. But because it's Wenger mm. and Wenger is Arsenal, I yeah. think you get to the stage you've got to respect what he's done for Arsenal. A what lot of the, a lot of the Arsenal. When else did they win the league? When else did these guys win the league? Come, I don't mean by respect. You know what because he's been there so long, and I think with Wenger, I've always said it's like Wenger came and he was levels above everybody else, yeah. and everybody else jumped and he stayed at the same level. Yeah. So I think with Wenger, I think a lot of the Arsenal fans want him gone, mm. from what you hear. Yeah, yeah. But you've got to respect what he did was amazing for Arsenal. But at the same time, you've got to say, you know what, you're not you're not at the same level now. We yeah, need yeah. to replace you. I don't think Arsenal know where to go. They, I think they want they want Simeone, they want Allegri, and I don't think they're gonna get either of them. No, so I think I it's kind of like which route do you go through now to replace Wenger? Where do you go? They need to go anywhere. No, I think like, the I, thing I, is I with Wenger is that yeah, he's he's been brilliant and everything like that, and I agree with what you're saying. He has been left behind. Um, the thing is with Arsenal Football Club is it's a business. Yeah, yeah, it's a business. It's a business. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And Wenger understands the business side of football. <clears throat> and money, money, money. When you say he hasn't won the league for a long time, when you look at the teams that have won the league, your Man United, Chelsea, Man City, they've chucked all sorts of money, which yeah. we just didn't have yeah. in that period because yeah. of the stadium and yeah. because Conkey hasn't put any money in. Yeah. And it's be basically been living off of the Champions League and the tra- transfer revenue that Wenger's built up. They were never going to say to him, you have to go. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they owe him Good from a massive debt. Well. Yeah. So it's up to him when he wants to go. He's, he signed a two-year contract. I knew all along he weren't going to go anywhere because he's a stubborn man. Yeah, and yeah. Even when everyone's like, we need him out, we need him out, and they're all in the streets chanting, he's looking at it going, yeah, all right. <laughs> Two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, he's never going to go. He's a stubborn man. We've all seen that. And I think going into the next season, he could actually achieve something next season. Mm. I have this a feeling that he's got that fire back in his, in his belly. Yeah. They promised him all sorts of stuff. If they come through with that and he can actually get the players he wants, I think we can achieve something. Keep Sanchez. But mate, I think yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's a Sanchez issue. Alexis Sanchez, you're seen as one of the best players in your position in the world. I'd say top five in your position as an attacking winger. Yeah. Your late twenties. Vidal has already been what's happened is to say, yo, <laughs> come on man, let's <laughs> come to buy man, come on. So it's like, do you stay in a club with no Champions League? Or do you go to a club that says we want you? Because again, remember, Ribri is getting old, Robin is getting mm-hmm. old. They were not happy with Renato Sanchez. Coleman in that great. Douglas Costa has been. Costa looks like he's going. Costa looks like he's going. So basically, they are looking for an attacking yeah, winger. Yeah. You know, so yeah. for Sanchez, as which was explains it, how do you attract players with no Champions League football? And also remember, this is what these guys don't get. This has been the most competitive the Premier League has ever been. Yeah. Never before has Premier League had pretty much the best coaches in the world, apart from maybe Allegri and Simeone. The Premier League has the best coaches in the world. Uh, Ancelotti. Ancelotti. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so, so basically, basically, because basically, so next season, it's going to get even tougher. So I just don't understand the arguments of... Because again, why did... You know, you know like, let's, let's talk about Mbappe. Yeah. Do you know why he, they bid 75 million for Mbappe? They know they're going to get Mbappe. That was the it's most psychological... Thank you. Yeah, I feel it's a piece of just say we went for them. They, they, they know. They know. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's we can't get him. Yeah. 
But we've watched all of the fans <laughs> kick off for so many yeah, years yeah, about yeah. how we don't spend money. So I tell you what we'll do. We tried. Where we'll put in this bid we'll that we know is ten million less than <laughs> than Real Madrid, yeah. and we'll say, guys, we tried, we tried, yeah. we tried. But reports have said that we have upped it. We have upped it to one hundred and ten million. Yeah, but, but regardless of that, regardless uh, of that, we might not get him. We might not. You know, but listen. for me, it's a signal of intent. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Mbappe, we've got 18. We have the, if we keep him, we have the best years of his life ahead of us. Say he stays at Arsenal for five, Look, six years. But you're, but listen, you're, imagine, you're, you're still staying the yeah. same. If you get rid of the world class talent that is Sanchez and you bring in Mbappe, you're staying the same. Well, the whole point is to down. progress. You you're have to keep down. Sanchez and listen, add Mbappe. But, that's what I'm saying. Okay, but but I'll put it, it this way. No, no, this, listen, I don't think it's relevant because like, that's. I really believe in Mbappe. Fine. If you go, if you lose Sanchez, that's bad. Mbappe, remember, he's a striker. If you just add some other kind of midfields mm. and everything, that means Arsenal, their dynamic changes. Yeah. Yeah, look, exactly. Sanchez is good, but Mbappe, this kid is 18. He's frightening. Years of friendly, and no, no, what honestly, this guy can I, do as a teenager I, is scary. I've never yeah, seen a player in, in world football before where I, the, the hype is so real that I'm so taken back that I'm like, okay, this is a reincarnation. Mm. Like, seriously, mm. he is Thierry Henry. Reincarnated. I know one reason only like 39, <laughs> so it's weird to say. But seriously, yeah. I'm watching this guy, and I'm just like, this is so much Thierry and we. But the scary thing is, he's even better than on yeah, was, was never at that good. age. Never on that age. was about 21, 22 before yeah, he started bro, to look like. You said the same thing. No, no, no. But the thing is, you said the same thing about Martial. You know. I mean, no, 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 no. Let's you, not get no, onto no, no, the whole days no, no, no. ruining Martial. <laughs> but right? you said the same because thing. You're like, oh, it's a reincarnation. And I said to you, listen, Martial's good, yeah? But I don't think he's ever going to reach but, that level. But you know what? I'm going to make a real, real bold statement. Uh -oh. I believe Martial is as good as Mbappe. It's just Man United are ruining no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I'm telling you now. Martial is as good as Mbappe. No, no, no. Shall I tell you what I say? I think Martial is better than Mbappe, has more potential than Mbappe. Is that the wrong club? Is that the wrong club? I think a lot of it depends on who it is. No, Martial. You're forgetting what? Listen, has my season. Seventeen goals, you know. What's yeah. the, has, has Martial ever done with Mbappe did in the Champions League? Scoring almost every single knockout. But he wasn't really given a chance because at that stage Monaco weren't as developed as they were no, this season. Look at the size of Can you imagine? Can you imagine Martial in the team that just played this previous season? He would have been an absolute I'm you, beast. Man. Martial is Martial. A is and I, I hope it that all depends Jose on, lets him go. All depends on I their really development do. and who's yeah. developing them. And Wenger has been known. To develop young players oh, to get course, the best out of Of course, and that's what so, worries me. If but, Arsenal did somehow, some way, get Mbappe, <laughs> then we're literally looking at on re point two, and we're looking at a future <laughs> world. But should I tell you this though? So I will say this thing. If they sign Mbappe, that is a massive statement. But what, what I will say is this though. If they lose Sanchez, as you said, yeah. and get Mbappe, I'm not scared. Because you've lost... Yeah, Sanchez is you're, levels you're, ahead. You yeah, will yeah, have yeah, 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 If you're losing Sanchez and replacing him with Mbappe, well, that, that does not scare me. They, um, they, Sanchez, the fact is that asking, the reality is that you're not going to have Sanchez and Mbappe. There's no Champions League football. That's not happening. Yeah, yeah. Well, so... You know, wait, 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 come on. This is a crazy now. world right now. No, 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 like, no, no, this no. is a different age. I can, I, this is I, a different I, I age. Bet with you. I'm not going to bet money again because I'm probably going to lose I'm going to bet like like wine gums with you that the fact <laughs> that there is no way in the hell yeah. Arsenal with no Champions League football are going to have Sanchez and Mbappe both in the same team. That's a different team. Remember, London teams have that little bit of an extra, like, not just that, not just that, not just that, but you have to understand. We've been in the Champions League for 21 years straight. Yeah. One season, one season is a blip. Yeah. So if we're looking to make serious signings like Mbappe mm. and Sanchez may see that and think, right, well, actually, Wenger yeah, business, yeah. Sanchez might not go. Yeah, mm -hmm. you see that. So if, we, if, if, that's the, if that's the case, and these players are going to come to Arsenal, they might look at it and go, well, they've done it 21 seasons in a row. Yeah. One year, because remember, Man United are still signing big players, and they missed out on the on the Champions yeah, League. No, it's Man United. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. But, but we, can, after we, Man United, can, but we can smell the desperation of Man United from here, <laughs> three hundred miles away. I, I tell you what, yeah, 
I think what the real, real, real big thing for Arsenal is going to be this season is going to be whether... When people... You know, like, what you're saying, like, it's only one season, can we get back such and yeah. such? What's going to be the real big test is if Arsenal are willing to take the risk of losing 100 million, which is 45 to 50 million Ozil and 50 to 60 million mm. Sanchez, of saying, all right, guys, I'll tell you what. Set out your contract. Yeah, you're going to set out your contract yeah. so we can prove it. Yeah. We'll be back in the Champions League. Then after we proved ourselves, you'll sign your new deal mm. and everything will be hunky-dory. This will be the real test of where Arsenal mm. are in terms of are they greedy? Is it a business mm. or is it about football? Because if they take that risk, I take my hat off to them. Yeah. You know what? Mm. We don't care what you're doing, you're staying. Yeah. Mm. And we will yeah. make sure that you're here to see yeah. this season through mm. while we progress back. Or they're going to go, Shit, man, we can't take this risk, yeah. man. We yeah, can't lose a yeah. hundred million for those two walking away for free next season. Let's just sell them now. But this is going to be that. the test of where Arsenal are. They so, still a bit. But that's talking about the hundred and ten million for Mbappe. You forget that we have a large squad and there's a lot of that deadwood that can make up yeah. a large amount of, money. amount of money. Mm -hmm. They talk about Gibbs for fifteen million to Newcastle. We can get fifteen million for Gibbs. How much no, money no, no. Get the rest of them? No matter how old he gets, he needs to stay. Because all of should be a mascot. No matter how old he gets, <laughs> he should be a mascot. He's a war boy. That's a war boy. He's not a war boy. He doesn't matter. Keep him in the club. Yeah. That guy is so good. I saw his kid at four years old not making people on the pitch after the FA Cup final. That's how good he is. He's just passed on the gene of just like the kid didn't even know what foot he was. He did a step over and not make four people with his left and his right. Because all the stays. That guy there, yeah, is class. I think he is actually Arsenal's best player. Like, I, well, honestly, I think he's our full player. Yeah, he can't. That see, last he's season, important. if he would have stayed fit, I 100% think we would have won the league. Actually, okay, okay, so yeah. that's very quick because again, because I've got some, some, some Liverpool guys here. Mm -hmm. Remember when I said there are 31 days in, Jan in January and clocked on by a single defender? Yeah. So now we're out here and they're going to break the um, record deal, £35 million. Pounds. For Mohamed Salah because basically Roma re rejected like 20, 20 million. So now they say uh, this week most likely 35 million, million pounds they're, yeah. go they're gonna get um Salah. Salah. Yeah. And Van Dijk is a another guy who now says he's not gonna go to Liverpool. Yeah. But my main thing is that which is club does does not lend itself. Come here, I feel that Liverpool are gonna do better in Europe than Arsenal have done in, through the years. Because Liverpool are just built for yeah. Europe. Yeah. Premier League yeah. basically I don't know, okay. but I just think their yeah, psychology and the players they have, they're built for Europe. But I think, Fully, do you, are you still afraid that Klopp isn't looking at defence and yes. not learning yes. from his issues 100%. out of Dortmund? If he's, no, no, if he's no. saying, I'm, you know what it is, the left back, the left back mm. position me, Milner is not a first choice left back. Like, and you could tell at the end of the season, Milner looked like he was pissed off Lerner, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. Yeah. But I don't care if you go and buy an 18 year old who's a specialist left back, go and get someone in so at least I can say, oh, thank, thank fuck Klopp's bought a left back. No, because, I, and also, there's a very good point in it's like, in football, it's like, as, that's why Aspilicueta is so good. Because he can play in all, all positions. Because yeah. remember, Mourinho <laughs> played him on his wrong foot. Mm. But because he's so smart, he always knew how to pretty much bring it on his strong mm. foot. But just yeah. do the best with it with his weaker foot. Mm. Milner is a right winger. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going from right wing to, to left, left back. back. To be fair, so it is a amazing season. Yeah. He's yeah. done yeah. very well. Three right. quarters of the season, he played well. amazing. Well, yeah. But then that's when it got to the end... No, 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 no. I know what you're saying. Because when it got to the end, you could, as, as you said, yeah, he just got just pissed off and he was just like, you know what? I just can't do this anymore. No, no, no. You could tell the frustrations because there were times when like... He'd have a ba he'd have a really bad game, and when Klopp's trying to like you know that the hug and embrace, yeah. you can That's see right, Mura just kind of. No, shocked. I just think it was fatigue. When no, you're 31 no, years you know, old and you're being up, and you're being played in a new position, yeah, it, was, it was fatigue. But he was fed up though, man. Because this position I've... is more draining and more demanding than any position it's, on the pitch. It, so it was I'm fatigue. Saying, pissed off. Though. I don't think he was pissed off. I just think it was fatigue. Nah, he was pissed off, man. Like Klopp. Even before that, he was playing Gomez at left back. Yeah, that's he's not a specialist. Thinking. Gomez left back. might come. So back, yeah. maybe he just has a problem well. with left backs. Gomez did really. He just doesn't. No, no, or maybe Moreno is just putting him off a lot. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> 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 don't need a left back. Yeah, no, no, but Gomez is different because Gomez is naturally a defender. Milner, yeah. as Hope said, is a winger. Yeah. So when a winger, imagine asking Mane to play right back. Do you think Mane will play? Mane will play like half a season. You think, yeah, Mane can do it. Antonio Valencia. After a while, he'll just be like, no, forget this. I ain't doing this no more. You get sick and tired. He has been. Chelsea Moses, like Moses dropped back, and at one stage he was like the, one of the best right backs in the Premier League because he's athletic, which is what you need from a yeah, right back. Yeah. Milner's not really an athletic player; he's like a mm. jack of all he's trades and a master of none. No, everything is like nothing amazing. Well. Cool. And also, the, the issue is that the way the Liverpool plays, like, it's very attacking, yeah. yeah. And you're losing something 
by not having left a left or right wing back. Yeah. Mm. Because imagine where you have Manny, Ronaldo, and it's so hard to mark them because they don't really play a fixed position. Yeah, and you have wing backs who are going through. But yeah. because Milner is not giving you that extra attacking yeah. that like a Marcelo gives you, you're losing so much yeah. attacking wise from not having I, that. That's, that's, that's where I would defend Milner though, because again, I just think it was fatigue. Forward. At the beginning of the no, season, he was phenomenal was... in getting forward. He was crossing on his left. He was going but, to the byline with his left foot. He would cut back, putting good crosses with his right. He was winning free kicks on the edge of the but, box. But, like he but, was but, playing but very well. Yeah. 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 How dynamic was he as a wing back? How dynamic was he as a wing back? Did he really add to I the attack? I think he did. He, he was, was sturdy. When he's with Milner, he was very sturdy and he done a good job. That's but what? But, but you got to imagine this though. What he's saying is, imagine if you had a Marcelo. Do you know how much that opens up the pitch compared to someone that, that exactly. keeps? When no, he gets no, but, you, but you're bringing me one of the best left wing backs in football. Bring me a Bertrand. Burton, uh, Montreal, even Cl- what we're trying to say. Do you think that those guys would be straight away better than what Milner did for us? Yes, yes. yes. You know what, what is? Like, I will say that the teams we played yeah. against, like Hull, when we drew, uh, when they beat us, when we didn't beat Burnley, yeah. a lot of the problem you could see we was playing like I remember a lot of Arsenal's problem a few years ago was left, right, left, yeah, right, because many, we never had a left left back to sit right up here and say you know what, fucking defend against us. A left back could have opened it up so much more for us. Because Milner was good, he got I, I, line I get your point, but you know what? Maybe it's, maybe it's just my love for... Uh, James Milner, for me, <laughs> is just that guy. Like, if you're going to war... He's the first guy you say, yes, I want you. Like, he just... He, he just yeah, he's he's, he's, he's Mr. Yeah. Reliable. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, he's like... Ambrosini of AC Milan back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. That's a guy you yeah, play yeah, yeah. in midfield. Because yeah. that guy, they go to war because that left back position, you don't see, you don't, that's not a Warriors position because the war is in mid midfield. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That position is a specialist position yeah. where you get a guy who is a left footed player and you're not specializing at doing what you do. You're not here to fight or be in the war. You're there to go up, cross, Come defend down. because that's yeah. a specialist position. Yeah. Milder is, is the kind of guy, if he's smart, the way he's playing, you put him in midfield because he's going to fight, he's going he's to tackle, he's going to work hard. That's why you put him in defensive midfield to be in the war. Mm. Play him out there, you're losing so much yeah. as an attacking team, yeah, not having yeah, a natural left wing player. Know, and this is going to pain me to say this, but you know a good example of what a good left no, back and a good right back. Tottenham. Ugh. Tottenham have Rosen flying right. fullback. Right. You, yeah. you, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That's, That's the perfect, perfect balance. balance. Yeah. You've got yeah. those two are both attacking, they give you so much and options, huge. and then at the back. They're solid. Yeah. That's what you need. Huge. If you have one on the right, Nathaniel Klein's a good, very good right back going forward and going back. Mm. But you don't have that balance because on the left, Milner might be good going forward, but, he can't but going back, go back, he's yeah. not up and down, That's up and down, up and down. I, I a lot of it goes was, on one though. side. A lot of it goes on. And then we get fed up because we see and, you know, Again, maybe I'm balls. just being biased here, but I just feel like Milner did it all. No, he did a job. No, he did a job. We're not saying that. We're not saying that. He did a job. He just ticks the box. But he didn't really add flair or something like that. He did a box this season. He did. I watched every single Liverpool game. Milner did more than ticking the box. You're gassed off his penalty. That's what he did. No, 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 no. It's the seven penalties that he scored. No, 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 he did it. And, and, and I, 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 put, I put this to you, fellow Liverpool man. If we take Milner out of the team, yeah, which I, 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 I'll take what you lot are saying, especially left back. Let's get a Bertrand, let's get a Robertson, let's get a, a Mendy, let's get a specialist left back. Okay, so we've done that. Then we lose the delivery. Then we lose the set piece master. Then we lose no, the no, master. No, from, from a dead ball. Jeez. No, from a dead ball. Henderson. From a dead ball. <laughs> Milner is a very, very, very <laughs> efficient. Wait, 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 wait. Are you related to James Milner? <laughs> <laughs> if, you see, if you see his delivery into the box from corners, his delivery yeah, into no, the box it, from free yeah. kicks, his penalties, he is a dead ball specialist. It's just because his name's James Milner. No, 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 no. I'm talking Some of his corners are Listen. shocking. No, everyone has no, no, an no, off no, no, day. No, no, no. Everyone has an off day. So even David drifting. Beckham took oh, bad corners. I've, I've seen some of his... Even David one, Beckham took bad corners. I'll tell you for now. Milner is a set... Is Guys, a, is one a second. Let me ask you this. Have you not got Philip Coutinho in your team? That's exactly what I was going to say. Lallana. Why do you need Milner when you've got Coutinho in your team? And Adam Lallana. Just take a look. All right. All right, fair enough. <laughs> but I still feel like you lose a lot around everything else, not just that position, by dropping Milner. You, I, I do, I feel you do. You can G people up from the side. Oh, yeah, I, th- I, th- I, th- I think experience, I think that's it. If you look there, you think, if, say for example, you're Coutinho, you know, I don't need to get back because Milner's either too thick or he just doesn't care about getting forward. He's going to stay there. <laughs> behind me is covered. Jane, Jane Milner will stay there, behind me is covered. So I think if we got a specialist in, I think you'd see a, mu- a much different team. And I think it's that like, the balance of the team. Coutinho couldn't yeah. Coutinho come in, but he'd only drift in 
with Milner here, and you knew when Coutinho came inside, if you're a defender, I'm going to show him inside because nothing's coming out this side. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if you've got yeah, someone yeah. bombing and passing, yeah, yeah. 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 Whereas if the left yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. wing back overlaps, Look then up. they're like, oh my days, like, on do on I line. follow Coutinho in? Fair enough. But then knowing Fair that he enough. could go to the left. But back. I still feel like Milner did that. He did no, he did a good did job. All we're trying to say is, Clock you get that specialist left it? back and mm. it does open and up the dynamic of the team. I'm not saying you're wrong. A specialist left back or not, any defender that allows Coutinho to move inside is an idiot. Yeah, Because <laughs> <laughs> he can pick out the top corner from anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's switch it to um, Tottenham now. Because again... No, no, but look. The thing about Tottenham is this that I was shocked that they came second. Yeah. So basically, my question to you guys is this is that I wasn't, I wasn't. No, no, so, is this a successful season for, for Tottenham? Yeah, because yes. they finished above Arsenal, that's all they want. Wait, wait, wait. That's all they want at the start of the season. Thing. Okay, they came second. You didn't win a trophy. If you're trophyless, and you don't, and this, can you still call that a successful season? Yes, for yeah, for Tottenham. I've, I've been thinking about this for a while, and I'll yeah. tell you why it's a yes. Because a trophy is always better than not a trophy. Mm. So, Arsenal, Man United, Chelsea will sit down and be like, right, they had the best season. Yeah, they 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 get they went home with silverware. But the reason why I think Tottenham are an, uh, an exception is the same way we were in thirteen fourteen. When your runners up, I still think that's better than a domestic trophy when it's just an FA Cup or a league because those things aren't really looked at as they used to be. When your runners up, you almost won the league. And oh, even yeah. no no no, but I get still the think these I, I, I still think <laughs> that, that, I, still, sales. I still think that that is a great achievement. If you're a club like Tottenham, that's, yeah. maybe if Man City well, finish runners up, yeah. the, you, you, you uh, won't look at it in that way. But like the Man City, they spend 550 billion, they should be doing better than that. Yeah. But when you're Tottenham, runners up, I think that is a yeah, success. The reason, the reason that I'd is say, a successful season. Really, I mean, based on the players that they had, I mean, I mean, that's why it's weird because again, because you look at how much City spent, how much United spent, how much all those other guys spent, and the fact that they were able to come second and yeah. do so well, it is successful to that point. Mm -hmm. But my Issue is that how long will Harry Kane, Dembele, Deli Alli, we're hearing about Kyle Walker possibly going to Man yeah, City? And how long? Andy Rowe's main So, so, so well. how long? Will, I, I, I don't even think they'll be able to do this. No, 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 no. But given no, Ericsson, but that's no, what my yeah, point yeah, is. Also, is, is, is like, how long? But how long are these players who are this good mm. able to say? We're happy doing this, but not winning a trophy? There we go. You know what it is. Everybody else is doing. Tottenham are going to struggle because they have a wage structure which is unrealistic yeah, yeah. for their for their well, ambitions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think 100%. last season was successful for them because it's progression. Yeah. But going forward, they're going to need to change their wage structure because people like Ericsson, people like Deli Ali, mm. um, your Rose, your Walkers, and stuff like that, they're going to have their heads turned. Yeah, they should be so okay, I think because we only have like a few minutes left till this like end of the tape. So quick thing, all of you, where did Tottenham finish next season? Fifth. Fifth. <laughs> Oh. And I'll tell you why, oh. nothing to, no, no, nothing to wow. do with the ability of the team, nothing to do with the manager who I still think could be the best manager in the league, nothing to do with that. I think they're going to struggle so badly with Wembley that they're just not yeah, they're quite going to be able to get their head around it. They are going, I reckon, by about December, they'll have got their head around it. But by then, they'll be out the Champions yeah. League and they'll be Maybe so be, far behind in the league uh, that I it'll think, be a problem. Where do you think they're going to finish? Six, you, six, you think they're going to finish six? I think six, they'll six, finish six, outside six. the top okay. yeah. I think they'll finish outside the top Leicester four. Leicester won the league this season. That's what you've got to think. Anybody can do this and yo yo down. Tottenham are going to struggle, especially the players they lose. But this way, if they lose Walker, Rose, or whoever, SA Ericsson, yeah, definitely sick. If they keep the exact same squad, I think they might cling to fourth. Might. Oh, but the Wembley thing will be a massive yeah, factor. They, they, the they might get they fourth. It's to, a big they need might. to sign a striker for when Harry Kane's not, yeah. not, not Sun, there. Sun they did need well, though. Sun did well, but, well, but yeah, I don't think Pochettino sees him as the, no. uh, the man at the top. They need, as well. They don't need yeah, anyone. I'm going to throw a little... I don't know what you want to call it. I'm just going to throw a little dirt grenade. If I'm Tottenham, I'm bringing the foe. No. No, I'm bringing the phone. Yeah. I'm bringing the phone. He's got a Bournemouth. He's already on the bench. He's already Yeah. And they're giving him 100 grand a week. Just going to get that top. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They've, they've missed the trick there. The phone yeah, yeah. comes in, scores goals. I don't yeah, yeah. care. He comes in, they should have got him. They should have got him. He's got Bournemouth. At his age, he would be willing especially with his love of Tottenham, yeah. to yeah, sit yeah. on the bench and wait for Harry Kane to be injured. Not for 100 grand a week. They're not going to give him 100 grand a week. No, no, no. No, I think he would. He's got a stats. 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 He's
That's no, no, happened. but I think you'd be willing to do it for Tottenham yeah, only. No, no, for no, Tottenham no, only. No, At no, his no, age, no, I think he'd be I willing know, to no, do it. No, no, he'll be a He's never played Champions League football before, so that would be something he's never had in Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's wrap up. I think that's the end of the tape. So we'll wrap it up this one. Oh, no, stop did, it. Did the tape actually no, 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 because what it is, it's films like 30 minutes as a whole. So we'll now do another uh, 30 minutes yeah, as a yeah. whole.